Good morning everyone, welcome to Paradise Wildlife Park, the Zoological Society of Hertfordshire. My name is Ian, I'm the section leader of large carnivores here at the park and today we're with our lovely snow leopards Jesse uh, and our lovely keeper Shirley and we're going to be doing a bit of training today and we're going to talk about why we do it uh, and the benefits that it has. At the moment Shirley has called Jesse over so uh, she do a little bit of a shake with a shaker uh, and this is basically a call to Jesse that it lets her know that we're about to start a training session so if she wants to she has the choice to come over and participate and then what Shirley's going to be doing is basically um, asking for her behaviour and then what we're going to do is blow the whistle let her know that uh, she's done the behaviour correctly and then we're going to give her a treat for it afterwards. Um, so we train for lots of different reasons and Jessie, we're really lucky, she loves her training sessions. So uh, this always goes really well with her, she's quite excitable, uh, which makes our life as trainers a lot easier. So some of the behaviours that we're training for is to stand up so we can check her feet and then we're also going to ask her to open her mouth so that we can check her teeth. These days we can just stick a GoPro next to it, in film inside of her mouth and we can let the vet and the dentist decide if we have to have a closer look at her teeth there. And then what Shirley's doing at the moment is she's asking Jessie to come and lie down next to the fence and what we really want is a hip or a bum pressing against the fence there and this is actually going to be uh, for her vaccination which is due in a couple of weeks time. So firstly what we do is get a second keeper and we go to stand there with this kind of fake needle uh, and while Shirley is controlling the head end and rewarding Jessie for doing the good behaviours that we want the second keeper is just going to give her a little gentle prod, it's just a little bit of plastic um, with this to get her used to the sensation of a needle going in and this works really really well to desensitise her um, for that feeling of an injection. Now luckily uh, vaccinations are just what we call subcontainous injections so they just go under the skin so they don't go into your muscle and hurt a lot uh, which was uh, a lot better for her so hopefully she won't even feel it but we do know that Jessie is a little bit more dramatic than her boyfriend Panja when it comes to getting a yearly vaccination. So we'll have to see how that goes uh, over the next month or so when it happens. What we're training with is positive reinforcement. Uh, so that means if Jessie does something good, she gets a treat. And if she does something uh, undesirable or behavior we don't want to reinforce, we just ignore her until she does a good behavior again, or at least a behavior that's going to be beneficial to her welfare uh, and for her health. So she's got this kind of red target, uh, and it is just basically a red ball on the end of a stick. Uh, and what we first did was teach Jessie to come and touch her nose to that through the fence, uh, and then we would blow the whistle. This actually acts as a bridge between the behavior that we want and us giving a reward. You might often see a similar thing with clickers and dog training and things like that. Uh, it's the same principle, we just use a whistle instead. Uh, and then she, when she hears that whistle, she knows she's done a correct behavior, and we give her a treat. Now, hopefully, she'll then remember the behavior we've asked and do it more frequently until she hears that whistle again. Uh, and the target just basically is a tool for us to kind of move around different areas, maybe change her position, turn her from side to side. And then you might be able to see there's a couple of different bits in there uh, that are useful for us. We've got that bit of wood that we wanted to lie down on and then it's got that little half round on top of it and all that does is kind of push her towards the fence so that we're trying to just make sure that Jessie has got a bum coming through the fence so it's safe for keepers and vets to do work on her. If she wants to pull away at any time, she's got that freedom of, uh, to choose to move if she feels uncomfortable with the situation. She can move away into the enclosure, stand up, change her position. As soon as she does that, us as keepers, we can tell the vet or we can move away uh, to make sure she's comfortable. And then when we're ready, we can ask her to come back in again. Maybe something spooked her, maybe she didn't like the feel of a new behaviour or the, the needle going in. Uh, so she always has that freedom to kind of move away. One of the most important things when it comes to training our animals is giving them choice. Just like us, they wake up on the wrong side of bed, maybe they're not in the mood today, uh, maybe uh, one of them is in, is in season. All of these factors can play a part in, in their uh, behaviour, so we want to give them as much choice as possible. But the main benefits for uh, our training are that it does just have the animals voluntarily participate within their own health care. It means they get to uh, um, help us aid them stay healthy. It also works as quite good cognitive stimulation. Uh, it's good to get them using their brains, working out uh, uh, puzzles or kind of um, new behaviours that we're asking for um, um, of them and it works really really well as that bit of cognitive stimulation. Now luckily with us with big cats 
they're not always uh, that interested. When you get a, a nice sunny day in the summer, these guys can be just wanting to sleep for 16 to 18 hours a day. So it doesn't help us when uh, it's a hot weather and they're not really interested in food. Um, so this time of year in the winter when it's colder, their appetite's up more and these are more active, it's a better time for us to kind of do our training sessions. Now each one might only last three or four minutes, just like that one with uh, uh, Jesse then and Shirley. And Jessie now knows that it's over, so she's taken herself away. Uh, you might have just caught at the end that there was a, a, an end signal. So with the snow leopards, we just do this to tell them it's over. She can now go off to being a snow leopard again, enjoying the rest of her day uh, while the trainers go off and, and start training some other animals and doing some other cleaning bits. But these sessions are nice and short and sweet, and it works really well with the cats. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing our, our lovely Jesse and Shirley have their little training session today uh, and we look forward to seeing you visit in the future.